Now we go find out how complicated this is going to be to lift. What's going on, beautiful people? Um, today is a slightly unique day. Not, not really unique. I mean, this is not the first time I've had one of these jobs, but um, they don't happen super often. So I figured I'd talk my way through it a little bit. Um, this is one of those unique opportunities that only presents itself if you have the time and the equipment to do it. So um, this is a roofer who's used me quite a bit in the past. Um, they called me up last minute, said, hey, I need a dumpster. I was supposed to have one lined up for today, but whatever reason, it's not coming out now. Um, can you get one out to me? So I said, absolutely. They uh, are doing a roofing tile, not a roofing shingle job. Now, tile, very heavy stuff. Um, I would actually suggest most people not ever touch roofing tile um, unless they know what they're doing and have the proper equipment to do it. Because I don't know what the exact math is. I think it varies a little bit, but um, depending on the type of tile, give or take, I use the math of one ton per yard. So. If you're a you know 14 or a 16k dump trailer or a roll-off container setup, then easily you're not exceeding five tons, which means five yards, which means probably a third of most of your bins, if not even smaller. Um, so you can get overfill overfilled really easy and put yourself in a really bad spot. Um, this is actually a great example of why I kept my dump trailers when I got my roll-off equipment. The uh, roll-off itself could probably do this job, no problem. So um, I'm almost upset at myself for not doing it, but ultimately the, um, the jobs I'm capping at five tons a piece, I'm doing five dump trailers total. Four of them are gonna be um, for tile alone, and then one of them is gonna be for miscellaneous wood scraps and underlayment stuff like that if you live in the right area i guess i don't know if this is true across the nation um, if you live in the right area there are material center that take things for free um, one of those things is clean concrete so if i can get them to separate the tile and the um, like the underlayment the wood stuff like that i can dump for free so four of five dumpsters outside of my time and my fuel are free, okay? My clean materials, I do one of two charges, um, up to two tons, which I believe, I just updated some prices, so if these aren't what my website shows, I'm sorry. Up to two tons, I do 375. Up to four and a half tons, I do 450. Now, um, when you get into daisy chaining clean concrete, I do a, a very good price point for the heavier stuff, but under the very clear condition that they don't overload me. Because if they do overload me, they pay a lot more money. So I give them a break in an effort to prevent them from trying to book less dumpsters, if that makes sense. So hypothetical scenario, she calls me up. This actually is kind of what happened, but I'm gonna exaggerate a little bit. Calls me up, hey, 23 squares, roofing tile, my guy says it's gonna be two or three dumpsters, right? That was actually what, um, roughly speaking, what she said. That is true, depending on who it is that's doing the job. Um, if I was a semi truck with a hook lift, you know, a 36 or a 33 GBWR roll off truck, um, I could do probably 10, to, uh, 10 squares at a time, you know, maybe something along those lines, maybe even a little bit more. Uh, and then I would only need to do it in two or three dumpsters. That is not the case with me, okay? So for me, I'm capping you at five tons, period. There's no six tons, there's no five and a half tons, there's five tons, because that's what I can legally do. Um, actually, one of my trailers, which is my primary dumpster for concrete, can actually do five and a half tons legally. Um, that's why I give it a little bit of breathing room just to make sure that that stuff's not all jacked up. So, um, reason why I would choose dump trailer over roll off, two reasons. One, 
my roll-off containers are much larger. My dump trailers, I have uh, three total, but two of them are Diamond C trailers that have metal sidewalls up to seven yards and then wood sidewalls built up above that. So my two containers that have seven yards metal walls are very easy indicators. I can very clearly explain that to someone. Do not go above the metal and keep it six to 12 inches below the metal wall, right? Very easy to understand. If you drop a 15 yard container with a four foot sidewall and tell someone to stay at you know 16 inches, 18 inches, you're screwed. They're gonna overload you every day. So I am gonna drop dump trailers. A, because the bin is smaller already. The capacity is not actually better, but legally is better um, from another perspective. But then on top of that, the biggest reason, biggest reason, I don't have to pick it up and put it down. So not having to pick things up and put things down is a huge deal when it comes to heavy weight because not only are you having to protect your equipment and yourself, but you're also having to protect the customer's property. You know, what if um, once, once the dump trailer is full, you're just backing up to it, hooking it up to the truck and then lifting the jack off the ground. Um, with a roll off, you got to lift the front end, you've got to actually roll it onto the trailer. You know, there's just a million and one things that could possibly go wrong if you're not uh, on your game or if you were overloaded that just could possibly happen and mess you up. So all in all, um, dump trailers are the way to go for, especially for concrete jobs. We are at the recycling center. Got my load of concrete in the back. Feels a little heavy, but nothing too crazy. So let's see what we end up with, all right? Now we're scaling, baby. Let's go shoot, see what she weighs. So this is a seven yard metal container, roofing tile pull up to pretty much the seven yard mark. Oh, we should be good. Thank you. Yeah, so give or take, I got right out about five tons in here. Let's go get her dumped. Now we go find out how complicated this is gonna be to lift. Yeah, the um, load was right around five tons. Um, I didn't do a scale out. I'm actually driving by the scale right now. Uh, I don't need a scale out. It doesn't matter. I'm not billing out for tonnage anyway. The scale in, I'll look at the video here in a minute, but it was 23 and change. Um, this truck trailer combination is give or take either a high 12 or a low 13, depending on all the stuff that's in it and you know things like that, what I ate for breakfast. So. Realistically, it was probably right at about five tons, maybe just a little bit over. Um, it actually felt heavier than that, which was surprising, but I haven't done a real heavy load for a little while. Everything's been uh, kind of lighter lately. But I am gonna go bring this trailer back now. So I've dropped one, I've dropped two, this will be drop three. And then after drop three, I'm gonna go do drop four. So there's uh, quite a bit of action today with one job that I didn't even wake up having this morning. So that'll be nice. I did also just get a lady to text me. She's got a 20 yarder right now. She just booked it again for uh, the following week. So we're, uh, we're having a pretty good day today. Actually a kind of busy block today. I know Zach's in the group. I don't know if he ever watches the videos, but shout out Zach, J and H or J and Z, sorry. And then you got happy trails. So you probably can't see him in this video very well. There you go, Happy Trails. I don't actually know the owner of Happy Trails. I've uh, talked to him one time at the dump, but he has a uh, bigger operation than most do around here. He only runs, I believe, 12 foot cans out of uh, U-Dump trailers, and he is crushing it. I see him all the time. All right, just drop, uh, drop number three. I'm taking my second load of concrete to the, um, concrete center 
And then I think that is actually it for, oh no, I'm gonna take it back here. That's right, I'm gonna drop the fourth dumpster here and then I should be done for the day. Hopefully they only need one more swap and that's tomorrow, um, if at all. They actually had quite a bit done already in the first two. Um, this is my most powerful trailer. This is my telescopic. Um, it's rated for 15,000 pounds. It's like 14.9, it's technical. Um, so this trailer itself should have no problem lifting. And the last one lifted fine. That one was my scissor lift. So this one, in theory, should be able to lift even more. But I do think this bin's actually a little bit heavier than the last one was. So I'm probably in that five and a half, maybe six ton range. Load numero dos. Hello. I'm just dumping, uh, I got roofing tile. I just wanted to see what I was at. Yes, sir. Ooh. 